building my favorite Aegislash set. So Aegislash is a Pokemon that's kind of been overlooked recently. And honestly, I've been overlooking it too. But it's actually still really, really good. And we're, we're going to be creating a set that kind of deals with a lot in this meta. So first, when, I, when we looked through Aegislash's moves, I was looking for two coverage moves that pretty much hit everything in the meta pretty well. And these two coverage moves are Shadow Ball and Close Combat. Yes, Aegislash gets Close Combat, it's really good, right? Because Shadow Ball can hit your physically defensive Pokemon like Buzzwell, Landers, and Close Combat can blow things back like Blissey. Then, I was thinking, like, Aegislash should run Shadow Sneak, right? Because a combination of Shadow Ball, Shadow Sneak can pick off a lot of Pokemon. And Shadow Sneak is just really good as a safety net, just in case something random sets up. And then I was thinking, what could be the last move, right? Because the most logical last move here is actually King's Shield. But then I was looking through what walls this Aegislash set of Shadow Ball Close Combat Shadow Sneak. And I found that some Pokemon like Mandibuzz walls it. Clefable doesn't get two shot yet. So I was like, okay, first let's deal with Clefable. How do we two shot Clefable with this? Like obviously you can run choice specs, right? But if we just, or Life Orb, right? But if we just run Spell Tag, Shadow Ball actually two shots Clefable. And I've done the calcs, it's like, it's like a 93% chance of two shot, which is really good. And for top, and for Pokemon like Toxapex switching in, it doesn't get two shot, right? But we have a 20% chance to drop, the, drop its special defense. And that means that Toxapex can't just repeatedly switch into Aegislash. So for last move, I was thinking like, what can I have to deal with Mandibuzz, right? Switching in. Or there's this other situation where say my opponent can switch in Hydreigon or Landers into Aegislash and I don't want to predict, right? Because I can just be like it's a 50-50 and click Shadow Ball or Close Combat, right? But a really safe play is actually just to have Toxic. Because when you have Toxic, right, and your opponent has like Blissey, Hydreigon, Landers, and you don't know which one's switching in, you can just safely click Toxic and then switch out. Or Pokemon like Mandibus, which this set is which walls this Aegislash set, right? I can just click Toxic and then switch out. It's a very, very safe option. And yeah, this is my favorite Aegislash set. There's a lot of other good Aegislash sets you can run, like a really common one, and one that I probably want to use too, but it's just a simple uh, Iron Swords Dance, Iron Head, Shadow Claw, and Shadow Sneak. This is very basic, but it does really well, right? Because it hits your Clefables, Shadow Claw can always crit and do a lot of damage. Shadow Sneak is really good, and just Life Orb, just raw Life Orb, Iron Head, or Shadow Sneak just hits so hard. And then uh, there's another set that I was thinking of. You can just simply go Choice Specs with Shadow Ball. You can have Steel Beam, right? So for Pokemon that are really specially defensive, like Mandibus switching in, and it's, say Mandibus, like, actually normally Mandibus is physically defensive, right? So say Mandibus is at like 80 or 70%. You can just predict it, go for Steel Beam and actually knock it out. It loses like, I mean, it, it makes you lose 50%, but that's pretty much worth it, right? And then for other mons, say your opponent does damage calcs and realize your choice specs, right? You still hit really hard with close combat. And then Shadow Sneak is good priority. Like it's choice specs, right? But the only choice specs moves you really need are Shadow Ball and Steel Beam. So these two actually make decent coverage moves. And then you're probably wondering what EV spread to use, right? Like, how do you EV this set? And it's pretty simple. I just go this, a quiet nature. And then for speed investment, we actually need some speed investment. I was trying to speed creep Tyranitar. Tyranitar hits 158, right? So we'll probably try to hit like 161. And then we go to 161, 92. And the reason we have to run quiet and we can't just run like one of the minus defense natures is because Aegislash has a pretty good defense stat. And if we run a minus defense nature, it's going to make some, some other attacks hit really hard. So yeah, and then we just put the rest into attack. I didn't really do that much damage calcs with the attack, so we might not even need the attack. But, you know, it helps to have a slightly stronger shadow sneak or whatever. And the thing about this Aegislash is... You're mainly just going to Toxic something, Shadow Ball something, or Shadow Ball Shadow Sneak, and then just switch back out into something else. So you're basically going to Dent something, and then switch out, and then come back in. So, I really didn't think you need King Shield. I really don't even think you need extra defensive investment. But, if you want to put these 164 EVs into HP, it's completely fine. But yeah, this is my favorite Aegislash set. I really encourage you guys to use it, and yeah. 